Hey guys! So I hadn't done a what's in my handbag video in quite a long time. I actually can't remember the last time I did one and super exciting news! I got a new handbag this week so I thought why not? I'm going to do a what's in my handbag video with my new handbag and share it with you all. I'm not meaning to brag or anything like that but I am super super excited about this new handbag because not only was it a gift, it was actually a gift from my lovely YouTube network style haul. If you guys don't know them, they actually have a separate channel, which I will link below, um, for reaching a million subscribers. They bought me a handbag, and not only was it a gift, but it's also a Celine trapeze bag. Oh, I can't quite contain my excitement. I really, really can't. So I am officially the luckiest girl in the world. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys like my bag and I hope you guys enjoy my What's In My Handbag video. So let's have a look what's in this here bag. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of a like chat through the bag as well because I know a lot of people um, will wanna know about this bag. There is a lot of hype around Celine bags and there has been for the last few years, so. Um, yes, this is the trapeze. It is the tri-color, so it has obviously three colors, um, but it is the smooth leather and suede on the kind of wing bits. On the tag for this, it just said indigo, which presumably is the side flaps, but um, I know they do this in like full colours as well, like a full indigo and a full red and stuff like that so um, presumably it's like the indigo tri-colour, something like that and it is the medium size. As you can see it is quite large, um, it's kind of struggling to get into shot. Um, that is the back, it has a nice zip on the back and a strap as well that you can carry over your shoulder and for me that is amazing because I know if it just had that strap it would like kill my arm so it's like the best of both worlds and a lot of bags that have the long strap and the, the like handle doesn't go down that really annoys me but this one does so it's basically perfect it opens at the front here and I actually didn't realise how technical these bags were it has one clip here and then one clip sideways there, I don't know if you guys can see that and then you open up the flap and then there is a zip inside. It's actually a very, very roomy bag. As you can see in the back pockets there, I keep my phone and my cables. So I always take, always, always, always take an iPhone cable around with me because my iPhone 5 always runs out of battery and it's so annoying. Um, and then I have my headphones because mainly I like to edit on the go, like if I have my laptop, but I do also listen to music too, obviously. And then my phone. The cover I have on it is the same cover I had. I've had it for like four or five months now. I probably need to change it because it's getting a bit dirty and gross. But um, it's the rainbow one and you can get this in the Apple store. It's by Uncommon. And I like it a lot. And it doesn't go with my sophisticated bag because it looks like a five-year-old's iPhone case. Not that a five-year-old would have an iPhone. You never know in these times. Um, I then also have my car keys, which are a little excessive, really. They are, aren't they? Slightly ridiculous. I have my vlogging camera, which I pretty much always take around with me. This is a Canon S100. I don't keep it in a case, I probably should, um, but it's lived its whole life so far without a case, so why change? And then I have my wallet, which is from Kurt Geiger. It's quite compact as well, which is why I wanted it, because when I use my smaller handbags, I find that some of my bigger wallets just don't fit, so I find it much better and gives you a bit more space, because that fits all my stuff in, but it's kind of like the perfect size. It's just big enough, but it's not too big to like fill up your whole handbag. Um, I then have my glasses. I don't think my glasses are actually in here. They're not. There's a spare set of contact lenses in there. I normally take my glasses around like everywhere with me because I get super dry like sensitivized towards the end of the day but I was wearing them this morning so they are not in there but that's my glasses case. Um, and then I keep an umbrella because I live in England and it rains all the time. I also keep a little makeup bag and this bag is actually um, one that I got at Christmas, so it is quite like festive and Christmassy. It's from Ted Baker. In here I have a lot of stuff. I have my Travelo. This is a new one, which I put um, Diptyque Eau Dwell in, which I'm just going to spray it now because it smells so great. It's like spice vanilla. It's so delicious. Um, so that's my little trap. I just breathe it in. It doesn't taste delicious. I take that back. It's not delicious. It smells good, but it's not delicious. Um, I have a conceal. Oh, it tastes really bad. Well, um, I have <laughs> I can't stop tasting it now. I have a black eyeliner which is Urban Decay 
Perversion and I have a, my Bare Minerals Mineral Veil Powder. This is like the new limited edition packaging which is super snazzy. You like turn it around and it has a brush on there so you can just like do your thing with your powder like that and then you can flip it back over and it like dispenses a little out but then it can't like leak or anything because it's in its little case. I also have eye drops because my eyes get really dry and I wear contact lenses. I also keep Compi blister plasters in my bag. They're all shaky um, because I, if my shoes ever rub, these are like the best thing ever um, for relieving pain. And then I've got a few lip products. Palmer's Cocoa Butter Original Formula, yum, and tastes like chocolate. And I have my MAC Cream Sheen Cream Cup Lipstick, which is kind of like my staple baby pink nude kind of colour. I have my Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker. Um, nudist gloss stick which is kind of like a lip balm gloss stick mixed together in one love it and then I have my new NYX um, beige lip gloss I tend to keep a few lip products in there all the time but if I'm actually wearing like a bright color I tend to like take it with me for touch-ups and then last but not least um, I have my tan jasmine hand cream jasmine blossom infinite hand cream which smells amazing um, and that's it for my little makeup bag back to the handbag which on a side note, it's kind of a weird bag because you can't like leave it open and carry it because this happens. You have to like close it at some point, either like do the zip up or like do the clip up. Um, so it's quite good for like security and making sure you do your bag up. I, there are only a few things left in here actually. One of them is my diary. Um, I get so many compliments about this diary actually. It's a velour, like navy velour with gold polka dots and a gold 2014 on it. And I actually bought it in TK Maxx before Christmas. Um, so I don't think you're going to find them, but it is like the end of March, so I don't know whether anyone will be looking for a 2014 diary right now. Um, but I got it for £5 in TK Maxx and I love it. And then I have my Juice Cube, which is my portable charger. I bought one of these before Christmas and I mentioned it in a few videos and they, they saw it um, and said, hey, thanks so much, can we send you a special snazzy silver one? So I was like, hey, that's cool, thanks. Otherwise my phone battery lasts till lunchtime. Seriously, if I spend a day out, my phone will die at lunchtime. Um, last but not least is um, my Orbea Dry Texturizing Spray Miniature. This is maize balls and super expensive, um, but it is really good. And then I'm going to show you the inside of my bag now that it's empty and a little bit easier to pick up. It's kind of like a smooth leather. It doesn't have a lining, but it is quite nice and luxurious. And then on the back here, you actually have a secret compartment full of secret things. There's not many secret things. There's my oyster card for getting on the tube. That is my bag. E. I can't quite explain how excited I am about this bag. Um, and yeah, thank you again to you guys for um, making this bag gift a thing, making it happen, and subscribing because I got it for reaching a million subscribers, which is crazy. And yes, if you like my bag, let me know in the comment section below. If you hate it, then don't say anything because that's just rude. I will see you again on Monday with a disappointing products video. Dun dun dun. Um, I hope you guys all have an amazing weekend, and I will see you then. Bye bye. Hey guys, my name is Fleur, and I am a shopper. Well, I'm kind of not kidding because I kind of have a shop hauling. But it's another haul video for you all. This time I have a big...